Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda, where we kind of finished up a whole bunch of things. Uh, all of the different small new quests that popped up after we started dealing with the cat threat for real here. And now the only ones left are back at the Nexus, so that's why we're here. Let me also apologize if my voice sounds different today. I have been sick all week, I'm just, just now getting back to feeling reasonable and being able to set up, so... If it sounds weird, that's why. All right. A major scandal surfaces. Hey, Ryder, I've got news about Kerry. All right, so that would be the quest marker in my <laughs> in my compass, I guess. Hakeem, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cells. She'd probably love a visit. Militia cells? What? Where are the militia cells? Tell oh, it just stuck her. Okay. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. You had to tell the truth, whatever the cost. You did what was right. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. <laughs> Wait for Carrie's next interview slot. W well, um... And I can't talk to her more, can I? No, that does, does nothing. Alright, uh, there are more stuff to do here, though. Speak to the leaders on the Nexus. Okay. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. He looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's his own person. Just admit, you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. Such is the burden of leadership. Nevertheless, it is good to see Art Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab.
All right then. Sarah. Scott. Bring it here. Man, it's good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. There's nothing anyone could have done. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. It gave me time to let it sink in. I'll miss him. But I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it and get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Not by choice. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? <laughs> The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. Oh, yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. Oh, oh who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. <laughs> Rider, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. We'll do. We will. Oh, and we have an unlocked memory. Cool. But we're going to speak to, to Sarah first. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you President of the Universe, too? What, why can I not, like, actually see her face when we're talking? <laughs> I'll pass. I've got enough on my plate. How's the job so far? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this med bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit. Fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job. As in, they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner, she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. 
I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. What about them? You still think about mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her, then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it. And he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7, the things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him then. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing, but she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer. Helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. All right, then. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. All right, so we're headed back to the docking bay and the, the tech center. Oh, actually, I should check out that memory first. All right, so we're headed over to the SAM node. Find out this last memory. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What? What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat. They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And then seven. So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. 
Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pot is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Whoa. <laughs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <laughs> There's still hope for your mother. <laughs> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. Okay then. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs, with pertinent information, are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Oh, wow. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Well, that will be interesting. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. Uh-huh. Okay. Got it. I need to go find Mom. What the hell? Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Ooh. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor. And the fact that we still don't know who they are. And all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the Benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. 
Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. So, is the benefactor actually connected to the Reaper somehow? Thought we were done with those from the last, the last trilogy. It's not like the ending of Mass Effect 3 sort of made me feel like, hey, let's play more with these Reapers. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Oh wow. That's actually pretty emotional if you've played the, if you've played the other Mass Effect games. But so what what is the Are they trying to tell us that the canon ending to Mass Effect 3 is a failure? I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy, and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Well, there not being any going back is not exactly the same thing as... Hey, everybody you knew died a horrible death. So, from what I understood before from hearing Bioware speak, the canon ending would be a destroy ending from Mass Effect 3, which means that, yes, a whole bunch of stuff has been destroyed, but they would, you know, be able to rebuild, and it's been 600 years, so there's no reason that there wouldn't be an ability to rebuild that, so I don't know. That's really weird. So we have more questions now than we had before that. Good, good. So now do we talk to Sarah about our mom being alive? I guess we do. Wait, what? Oh, so we're meeting there? There you are. What's going on? Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, Mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E-R. Are you saying... I saw Dad's last memory. E-R is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's Mom. Oh my God. How is this possible? Dad loved her that much. He wouldn't give up. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action, his emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. I guess you're right. We don't want to mess around with that. Your father understood this would take time. 
What do you mean? An account that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. No way we're losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together. <laughs> All right. Wait, talk? Uh. Hang in there, Mom. We missed you. All right. <laughs> wow. All kinds of things happening now. Let's go back and meet with our fellow Pathfinders. I'm assuming, by the way, that if I'd done the opposite, if I had saved the Salarians and let the Krogan Scouts die, then they would still all have been just as upset and not let me, not let me go. <laughs> Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. Its plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Hmm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Well, that's as much as we can hope for. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is up to you. I can handle it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with a job. Part of being a Pathfinder. <laughs> Except we haven't been paid. Oh god. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. First, you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. Good luck. Research? Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? How much of Andromeda's life has been suffocated or lost? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. Integrate Ghost Storm technology with Tempest to help other Pathfinders. How do I do that? Isn't there a research station in here? Yeah, a research center. Research. Oh, that's we already did that. So it's not a normal research thing. Where, where does this lead us? It says out to the Tempest. Let's go do that then, I guess. Alright, off we go into space. I have no idea why or where we're going, but apparently we need to be into space. <laughs> Magic of a quest marker takes us into the Tempest. Let's go. Alright, now what? Okay. Ryder, could we talk a moment? Sure, Cal. Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Salarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? What, you mean except the big cat modifications to everything? You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Salarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Uh We know they can spoof transmissions. The cat, that is. They, they've done that. That's what the elders told us that about when the cat first, first attacked this cluster. Now that I think about it, a cat armada just stumbling across the Salarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that. I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Meeting point on Havarl. Uh-huh. 
Well, well, well then. Okay, where are we where are we actually going? What are we actually doing with this tech? Over here? Ghost Storm Technology build. Alright, well. The Ghost Storm Technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. I'll call a meeting immediately. Well, immediately, except we're gonna go check out that meeting on Havar first, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, we're coming down on Havar. Um, I do assume that if this is a bad thing, which it very well might be, some form of a trick to this, then should be okay. Uh, since we're down on a planet, I'm sure it's not gonna be like a terrible permanent problem. We'll just end up killing an ambush or whatever. Uh, this way. Is that down in some dang cave? That's, yeah, that's down in the bottom of that. Alright, we have a couple of upgrades to do, actually. Sorry, Commando, for Korra. Power damage, power force, power restoration and defense, and all power recharge speeds, or... Shotgun damage. Cryo, N no, well, well, oh, her shotgun firing with prime, prime combo. Oh god, I can't, I can't, I have to do it. I don't care about the shotgun damage or the chill effect, but the prime though, let's do it. And defensive training, we even, we either had increased maximum shields as long as Korra is alive. On all our allies, that's not bad. We'll restore it now. No, no, no. That stacks on everybody. Confirm. And then Jaw is all upgraded. Good. Let's go. Oh, I... Okay, apparently we're fighting. Oh, really? Hello, Adi. Wow. Ha hi. Cryo combo immediately, nice. Okay, okay. Wait, what? What are you? I don't even know what you're shooting at, but I mean, we we basically killed all the wildlife now. So can we move on? No. What are you? What are you fighting over there? Not alone? No, really? You don't say? On the rocker, you're too. Nice. Uh, there we go. There you go. And there you go. Even more? Okay, good. Hello, and we're, we're. Please clear this planet of all signs of life before continuing to move to your target area. Oh. Ow? What am I? Oh, hi. Stop eating me, please. Are we done? No. Where even are you? That is extremely annoying. Stop it. Okay. Charging through. Target down. Look, an ammo box. It's good because I used up all of my damn ammo, <laughs> and I'm not even in for a fight. I just, I just, I just want to walk. P please, please let me keep walking. Wow. All right. Uh, okay. So we're heading up above this. Come on, jump. All right. Those are the coordinates we were sent. In the message about the Salarians? Let's stay sharp. Hostiles. Oh. Stop the ambush. Yeah. What a shock. 
Yeah, they are cat. Interesting. Well, I don't mind a chance to kill some cat. I really do not. Hello. Right into it. Oh, we Let's knew look around. It. They might have left something. This massive box. Heavier strains, extremities, one in that launcher. 2.7 milliliters in neurodepressant compound with injector. These supplies used appear to be used to capture prisoners for life transport. What a shock. Look, an ammo box. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughan, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled... inconveniences. The Solarian Union's fixers. If you prefer. As I said, these days I stick with retiree. A lot of people came to Andromeda for a fresh start. I'm sure I'll enjoy mine when I find it. Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden. But the evidence is thin. I need a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. All right. What about him? Who's Adam? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. And why not talk to your own pathfinder? Couldn't Hager help you with this? Hager's too green to be corrupt, but his team's another story. You are obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. All right, interesting. Well, we'll look, look at that. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adden's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adden's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. And what if we can't? What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adden? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. Uh, remember, Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. Oh, good. Uh, there was a container here? Yeah. Scan... Scan evidence from cat handler on Vold. Scan Dr. Eden's equipment on Vold. Alright, we're, we're going to Vold, everybody. Leaving Avaral. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Alright, so we're on Vold. We have two places. One is right next to this forward station. That's the equipment, and then one is uh, Ket Handler, which is more in the middle of nowhere. I guess we'll take the one that's close first. That's Techix, according to my map. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Uh, so the equipment would be in here? Alright, so it's in this building. Let's go through it. This must be Dr. Adden's workspace. The one the STG agent is investigating. Good thing to say out loud. Okay. Yaska. Pretty sure we've been here before. Lab equipment. Scan, scan it again. Last registered user, Dr. Dr. Medro Adden. 52 hours. Okay, so we have to go through the different things in here. This equipment has been sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Or they could be leftovers from Adden's experiments. The agent mentioned a cat handler, too. Can we talk to you about it? Eske? What do you need? No. I won't disturb you further. It is no disturbance at all. 
May your luck build, Ryder. Thanks. Good, good. We can't can't ask her about <laughs> her co-worker. Uh, whatever. So here's a question. How would you betray your race to an alien race you don't even know exist? Are that seems... we friends, Cora? I think so. I hope so. Hmm. But you never talk to me the way you do to Truck. And you're good friends with him. Cat, right Oh, god damn it. Okay, what? Let's get a scan. What? Let's get a scan. Let's Where? Okay, so there's a thing that just dropped from the sky here. Let's get a scan. What? But I... I just saw the thing. Oh, hello. Enemies. Yeah, yeah, they are. If that STG agent was right, this cat was Dr. Adams' contact. Hostiles ahead! Oh god, that was... Oh, dang it. I need a target. You, you will do. Hello. Thanks for getting my minigun approach to work. Oh, where? What? Hi. Ooh. God dang. Ooh. Lots of explosions. There's at least one. So Wow. We're all clear. Nice. Okay. So there's a bunch of stuff out here. Uh let's get a scan. So this is it, a dude. This cat has a Milky Way com device implanted. Particle what? vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryptions. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian Ark. The best leads on Adam's betrayal, and they're both circumstantial. Can't hang him for that. How about we talk to Hager about this, back on the Nexus? He might have something. Okay. Yeah, so the cat would have found an implant, and then implant- well, okay, sure, that's something that the cat would do, yes. That, that is actually correct. And we're going back to the Nexus, everybody. Hello again. Hello again. Hey, sure. Ah, Ryder. Your pilot said you were helping Major Salen Vaughn with an investigation into Dr. Adden. You know Salen? Only by reputation. One of STG's finest back in the day. I tried to help him with Adam, but sort of stalled. What do you make of Salen's theory that someone betrayed your people? It doesn't seem possible, but there's so much that doesn't fit otherwise. I reached out to ARC leadership, the ones who woke up first, but they keep putting me off. I had an idea, but it might not be completely legal. Alright, go ahead. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of those ARC officers, Rand Lan, has an apartment here. If he's busy, he won't be around. And a quick scan wouldn't hurt anything. Just see what's there. Alright, this is just getting worse. <laughs> but let's go find out, I guess. That'd be in here. Locked. Ooh. I may be able to hack this, Pathfinder. Yeah. There may be additional clues, Pathfinder. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Hager mentioned. 
All right then. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of novetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some Andromeda wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Wait, what? Password protected. Little help, Sam? Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the EM signature suggests data was recently cleaned. Okay. Oh, there's a terminal here. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lon, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. Okay, something's fishy. Sam, can you work out which planet the dust on the floor came from? I have a candidate. No record of any official visit. Once in orbit, I can approximate a nav point. Leave Rand Lon's apartment. Yeah, that's gonna go well. <laughs> Not terribly interesting there. And now we get caught. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? <laughs> my fault. I'm visiting a friend and these doors all look alike. You're quite obviously not here by accident. Now please, explain why you broke in or I'll have to report this to the militia. I'm working with Major Salen Varn. He has the paperwork. Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. Well, I don't care. You have lots of weird shit in your room. There's obviously been some misunderstanding. Goodbye. Please don't touch anything else on your way out. Still got that planet identified, Sam? Yes, Pathfinder. Oh, we're going to Elogen. I wonder what would have happened if we just said it's a hoax from the start. Alright, well, we're back with our friend the worm. Into the depth of nothing here. Yeah, let's go. We're out in Hell's Promise. That sounds like a like an accurate name for this place. It's just dunes. What is this? Is this what we're looking for? It's probably what we're looking for, isn't it? Pathfinder, these are the approximate coordinates extrapolated from the Solarian apartment. No sign anyone was here. There's sand traps all over. Let's look under the surface. Scan the ground. No sign anyone was here. Well, except, you know, the ship. What? Oh. Something was here, then dragged that way. Can we get research data for scanning these? Alright, interesting. What the heck? And there's a question mark on the compass. This is gonna this is gonna end well when we get up there, isn't it? Structure? Yeah, structure. Scavengers. I'd be careful. Out here they're dangerous. The trail leads right to them. Are you marked as enemy? Yes, you are. Hostiles. Yeah, there's many of you too. Many more than there seem to be. Wait, is that Salem? Alive, barely. Pass the metagel. Let's get him back on his feet. Maybe, maybe wait with that conversation until we're done with shooting people in the face with the uh, minigun? Maybe. Help Salen. Where? 
Okay. Where are you? Hello. <laughs> that's not the button I meant to press. Oh my god. Oh, that's just the worst. Salen, what happened to you? Salen? <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. You're sure he's okay? I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salen you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait, you... He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adden asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. I haven't used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks, canny bastard. Wait, you both used me? How? I examined the department belonging to a Salarian officer, Rand Lon. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. All right, but, but... enough conspiracies. I'm not going to be used again. Adam tried to murder me. What might he do to say your sister? He overlooked the last piece of evidence. The dart used to poison me, still uh, inside with the ballistics intact. We could prove Adam's guilt. He'd agree to meet you. My people could finally have justice. But it's your decision. We'd need somewhere to meet Adam. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. Speak to the imposter and can... How do I know this guy wasn't the imposter? Oh man, this is just the weirdest quest. We're going to Kadara, everyone! And we're on Kadara, we should just need to- oh yeah, <laughs> Sliding Nomad. We should just need to go south from here. It's through this pass, I guess. And we'll end up at those caves where... Whatever the heck. Keep expecting <laughs> outlaws to jump out at us. Well, it's strange on this planet. That rumor about you smuggling defense plans out of Menai. <laughs> nope, nope, we don't talk about Menai. Why not? Anyone who'd care is 600 years that way. Fine. Over drinks. You're buying. Timing of all of these talky bits is exactly so that once you start approaching somewhere and they're likely to cut it off, they start talking. Trollier. Here we are in the caves. And there we're meeting whoever. Oh, did we Jim? Shiny. Let's talk to you. Actually, let's steal stuff from your container first. Meth suppressor. Oh, Salen. There or whoever. you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a cat collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? So it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't <clears throat> carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Our cause? Selling your Ark to the cat makes no logical or tactical sense. To you, because you lack data. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets. So one day, we could destroy them along with their exaltation. That is just incredibly stupid. Hey, I know how not to get exalted. Get ourselves exalted, you idiot. Listen, there is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. 
And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? Put this traitor where he belongs, Major. Dangling outside an airlock, maybe. Arrest me, and you'll never find the others. I've got nothing but time to look. I'm retired, remember? I owe you big for this rider. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me... Uh, I need a militia pickup, the doctor, and the biggest drink on the Nexus. Okay, then. Well, that led to nothing of use, I guess, and after going around the galaxy like four times over, that wasted quite a lot of time, actually. Hopefully I managed to cut most of it away for you guys, but... Wow! All right. Well, with that said, we are pretty much ready to go and talk to our crew for this mission, which we'll do next time. There's one thing left I'd like to do, and that is actually go out to all these new systems that have popped up in our galaxy and just have a look at them and see what we can find. But I'll probably do that off camera if nothing interesting pops up. Anyway, if, if something interesting does pop up, we'll, we'll take a look at that next time because this is taking quite a lot of more time than I expected, actually. Anyway, this is Slice Lime. Thank you for watching Mass Effect Andromeda yet again, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.